Hey, welcome to the Page Family Homestead. We're going to be making rabbit pot pie and freezing them so we can have meals whenever we want. But first, we have to get the rabbit. There's one. <laughs> well, this looks like a mighty fine rabbit. <laughs> it's already wrapped. <laughs> you, gotta, you, get to hunt like this. you gotta love those self wrapping rabbits. <laughs> Try to wrap itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go in and unwrap this thing and make some rabbit pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> well welcome back so here's the rabbit here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up into pieces and I'm gonna braise it braise it is that the word yeah braise it oh. in this pot here low and uh, low and slow, slow. yep I'm just gonna cut this little guy up hello there <laughs> and that would be the liver yes that's the liver we're not keeping that are we no some I'll people that. I'll like give that it. to the chickens. Actually, yeah, do that. Chickens would love that. We'll just dice it for them. Yep. There we go. Look at that meat on that. Not much fat on a rabbit. Nope. So what little fat there is, we're going to leave in the pan to breeze with the, with the rabbit. Yep. Actually, this is one of the fatter, fattiest rabbits I've seen. Look at this. Yeah, you were saying that. Look right here. Oh, that's I can't fat. your hands there. And yeah. that's fat, so you'd want that. That's what you'd want. I'm not kidding you, George. <laughs> okay, so. What are you whining about, Suki? Look at the look at the meat on those things, those rabbits. That's a that lot is. of meat, man. Okay. This is gonna be so tender. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's our roasted vegetables, which we have carrots, um, rutabaga, and uh, we're gonna put peas in there as well. And we got thyme and dill and pepper on there. So that's gonna go in the... They're at 375. At 375, yeah, in the oven. Yum, yum, yum. Nummy, 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 nummy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I got all the rabbit cut up here. I'm gonna put about Two tablespoons of oil in it. There, like that. Get that all flipping around. Okay. And then I'm gonna throw some garlic in here. Our fresh dehydrated garlic. Fresh dehydrated. About enough, eh? Yep. Like that. Isn't that handy? It is. Andy, is that handy? Oh! <laughs> now let that heat up a bit before I put the rabbit in to brown. And we're just gonna brown the rabbit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our, our stock in there just to cover the rabbit. Just enough beef broth to cover the rabbit. There you go, and that was just made last week, guys, that yep. beef broth. Coming in handy already. The recipe, original recipes, um, asked for chicken broth, but why? Yeah, We've really. got this. Yeah, let me throw some <laughs> of this in, see if they're gonna be okay with it. Look at all that meat. Look at that, it's beautiful. Put that in. Oh, it's starting to sizzle, good. Yep. Tell you, you do not understand until you've eaten rabbit just how much rabbit meat is on a rabbit. There is a lot of meat. 
There we go. And bring you back when it's all brown. When she's nice and brown. Mm -hmm. we're, we're done browning it. It's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. And then we're going to deglaze this pot. Mm. You want all those juices. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flavor. Flavor is all right there. Look at that. It's just gorgeous, that is. Okay, so there. So now I got a spoon here, hun. Rub that in, and I'm gonna put the broth in. Isn't that cool? Yeah, just beautiful. Here's where the low and slow comes in. Yeah, that's right. Excuse me. <clears throat> there we go. Put all the chickens back into bed today. Just now, <laughs> I mean. They're in bed. They're so easy. Come five o'clock, they, they're already there and getting in. Well, it's dark. Yeah. It's dusk. Dust doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at that boiling already. Put this back in. Now that it's browned. And what we're hoping for, like not hoping for, what's going to happen, all this meat's going to fall off the bone. And we'll be able to put, pull it off and put it in our rabbit pot pie. <laughs> so we're going to let it come to a boil, yep. turn it down to a simmer, put the lid on and walk away. Walk away, just walk away. So it's half covered, is it? Yeah. It's about half covered. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. Simmer and go. Okay, so I see she's boiling a little bit there, don't you? Yeah, I okay. think so. Turn it down low. Yep. And put the lid on. If it gets really, really, really low, we'll add more. That's right. Okay. Alrighty. So I think this looks, this is done. Look at that. Look, it's just pulling right off <sighs> the bone. Look at that. Oh, it's just yeah. gorgeous. And that, wow. It's going to be a nice cream. Pulls right through that. So now I'm going to take these out, put them in this bowl here, and then we're going to start to make our gravy. And pull the meat from the bones. And then we'll pull the meat from the bones, yep. And then we'll, kind of like a pulled pork sandwich, but it's not. Because <laughs> there ain't no pork here. Oh, God, that looks good. Rabbit. Okay. See, look at all the meat from one rabbit. <laughs> it's just beautiful. And this is going to make a fantastic gravy. So when this is all done, I'll bring it back. Fogging up. Okay, I've got a quarter cup of butter in here. I've melted it already. Now I've also got a quarter cup of flour, which I'm going to pour in here. Cook that toasty brown. Hit the, oh, hit the belly, hit the belly. Yeah. Doesn't this smell good, eh? It does. All this juices over here. No, they smell good. Mm, no kidding, eh? Remember, folks, Rabbit pot pie. And we're making enough of them so that we can come in if we want, you know, on a, you know, it's a, what do we want? I don't know, let's get something quick and easy. We can pour that in, you know? Just pull one of them out. That was the juices from the cooked rabbit. Yep. All the juices from the cooked rabbit. Get that, we're making that our, thick. Yeah, gravy. Watch that lens on it splattered. Up. I know. Turning up the three now. That was on low, but I'm gonna raise it a bit. You stir and I'll pour. Yep, I'm stirring. Let me know when you're ready. I put a little bit more in there now. So more we More beef. Beef stock. Bone, actually. Oh, bone stock, bone right. Bone broth. Bone broth. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're, we have to make quite a bit of gravy. 
so that we can pour it onto our, our rabbit pot pie. Because there's about how many? Just two, four, six, eight of them. Eight rabbit pot pies. And you want them like a lot of gravy in them. So. A lot of gravy in the rabbit pot pie. While we're making that, we can let it sit and we can pick all the meat off the bone. Yep. We're going to put a little more in here. There we go. That'll suck it up just beautiful. Now we've got all the meat, as you can see, here. We have the gravy right here. And now we're going to put our meat all in there and with a rabbit pot pie. Now the vegetables, we did add potato. We felt that it just yeah. needed it. So we have roasted potato, roasted turnip, which Andy calls rutabaga, roasted right. carrot, and roasted peas. And now with this tender, tender. Oh gosh, it's so, it is. It's, it just, oh, look how tender it is. There it's was beautiful. no work taking it off the bone at all. And it smells so good. It's just driving us nuts. Three oh. more? Damn it. Oh, three and a half. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be good. Switch it around. On Still from Peter to pay Paul. Yep. There you go. Some of this one can come over here. Yep, some of this one too. Okay. All right. Some of them I put a little bit more in, but it doesn't really matter. So, we figure it out. Yep. Don't they look so good? Oh, yeah. Okay, excuse me for a minute while I wash my hands. Yep. <laughs> we pour the gravy on it. Look at that, folks. Oh. Be generous with your gravy. If you haven't got a lot, we might have to make more. <laughs> It'll be a beef one, because that's it for rabbit. Yep. Give them all a little at least. Yeah. I think it might be enough. That might oh be my. Just enough. Yeah. Seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now. <sighs> now what we'll do is we're gonna put our crust on top. Yes, you heard me right. A crust on top. Now bring it right back when we're ready to do that. Made a bit more gravy, guys. They look better now, eh? That looks better, yeah. Much better. Now the dough. Now we put the dough on. <laughs> a deer, a dough, a female deer. <laughs> okay, we've got the crust out here, and I've got thyme and dill in it. So, as you can see, we've got these four done right now. So this lid comes with the, the thing here, so I'm just gonna go about a quarter of an inch wider on it. And I need four more. Three more. Three more, sorry. <laughs> okay. Move it way over. Cause way over, yeah, okay. And we got more dough we can roll out here too. Good. Yeah. That's always good. Always better to have more than not enough. And the recipe I'll put in the description below. We've shown it in past videos, but if I find one, I'll put it in the iCard, but I will put the recipe in the description for you. It's a no fail and it's so tender. Yeah, it's a very, very good crust. Nanny's, Nanny's Wicker's pie crust. Nanny's Wicker. Uh-oh. <laughs> we just added the seasonings. To yeah. suit us. That's good. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah. Okay. It's very forgiving. Yeah, because you can stretch it a bit, eh? Yeah. There, you got most of the cut done for you. Yep. And we'll roll out the last one later. So, when we're done this, he's going to put them on top of the other four remaining and Turn the foil lip over. Over onto it. To help keep the crust to the side. 
white. And then we're going to brush them with an egg wash, which is one egg whipped and one tablespoon water. 325 degree oven. Yep. Until the crusts are toasty brown. Yeah, toasty brown, yeah. Okay, let me get one here. Oh, we got some dishes to do now. Pardon me? We got some dishes. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> How could I take all that fun away from you? <laughs> <clears throat> and Look just tuck nice. it into the sides a little. Yep. Come on, you forgiven <laughs> bike crust. There you go. Just push it into the ah, sides. Okay, that side you mean. Okay. And then turn over the foil. A new leaf. A new leaf. I'm turning over a new leaf. That one you need to tuck in better. You left an escape. We're going to shoot a steam pocket through the, or slit through these two, so don't worry too much. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back when okay. the rest are done. This over here. Egg wash is made and... So let's are all in. So let's do this. One egg and one tablespoon whipped yep. together. And he used his man fork. Yes, I man did. Tool. Man tool. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> it's drippy. Drippy egg. Well, that looks good, eh? Yeah. So 350 degree oven. Yep. Say for about what 25 minutes or until golden brown? Until golden brown. We'll keep yeah. an eye. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on it. Measure it out. <clears throat> Check it out. These are going to be so nice. Especially with our kitchen reno coming up. If we have these in the freezer, all you got to do is whip it in the oven. We're done. That's the beauty of it, right? Quick food. Yeah. And cheap food, like, you know. And it's a solid, like. And we have a neighbor that wants to try one, and our. Yeah. Dear friends Clint and Adonica want to try them. And that leaves yeah. us still lots. There you go. Yeah, she's looking good, eh? I love the herbed dough. There we go. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. In they go. Alrighty, so. Yep, it's preheated, yep. <laughs> One rabbit making eight meals. How right. cool is that? Pretty darn cool. And all right. those beautiful roasted veg. Hey, look at that. Oh. That looks beautiful. Oh, doesn't it? Aren't they pretty? Oh, yeah. Oops. How long were they in for? Uh, I'd say about 30 minutes. Look at them. Oh. Look at this one, Bubble. Oh, yeah, she's hot. <laughs> See why I can't eat any right now? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> oh, these are going to be awesome. We're going to. the gravy just pouring out from the sides. We'll let them cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Then we'll wrap them, put them in the freezer. Yeah, put lids on them. Three go out. Yeah. The rest are for the freezer. <laughs> you okay. proud? Yeah. They look good. They smell delicious. They smell good. That makes <laughs> good. And we'll eat one more week. For sure. For dinner. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you here next week. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this. Or what you would add. Right? Okay. We'll see you next video. Okay. <laughs>